Marcus joins us now, and there it is, front and center in your uniform. And now we there call we you go. Iron Man. And that's okay. the part my kids love the best about it. Yeah. It's very neat. My son asked me, Daddy, are you Iron Man? I said, well, kind of. Nothing really, nothing shoots out. You are Iron Man. We, we now, all made, for that. It, it is made by Taser, but uh, there's nothing that shoots out of this. This is just a body camera. And, you know, simple on, Audio off, and, and video, right? Audio and video, and there we go. And it's fairly lightweight. About the size of a pocket mouth. pager. It is, and it is pretty darn light. Yeah. Okay, and check it, it out. And you said it's not very, you don't really notice it that much. And obviously, it'll be just second no, nature. Right. And it's, it's, I mean, considerably, considering all the other equipment that we have on our belt, it's considerably lighter than everything else. And you don't really notice that it's there. How long is the battery good for? Uh, battery's good for quite a long time. I haven't charged this yet. All right. So, and you leave it at the there station at the end of the day? Yeah, at the end of the day, leave it at the station. And, uh, Kind of to, you know, borrow from Ronco, you kind of set it and forget it. That's it right. It takes care of itself. Please. But for folks to, you know, just to get used to seeing this, this is now going to be part of officer's equipment on a daily basis. And so nothing to be afraid of. It doesn't do anything to anybody. Police body cameras, of course, have been a hot topic in the country in the last couple of years. When will San Antonio police officers have to use these as far as recording? Do you record your entire shift? Or well, if we recorded the entire shift, that'd be a lot of data. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, policy dictates uh, every encounter. Now, one of the things that Myra mentioned in her uh, story is that this has been a long time coming. But d to borrow from uh, my, my sergeant, uh, a department our size is like a cruise ship. It's not like a speedboat. You can't just turn every time you want to and, and dodge things. It takes time to turn something. So changes to our department take a while to take effect with I've, this many people. I have a question for you. Is it going to take a while to get used to turning it on and off? Because that's got to become a habit, I'm guessing, and because that's, it's a new thing. That's part of the training that the chief is going to be going out to later on this morning, I believe, at uh, 9 or 9.30, yes. around that time. And that's part of the training that the officers are going through is uh, getting used to tap on, tap off. Right, because it's, yeah, it's got to become Kind of like habit. the clapper, but you tap it. <laughs> that's right. Like you always say with anything else, it's, it's muscle memory. And it's just going to become habit and, you know, like... It's just like put the, the car belt. in park, and you. As you know, before you know, before the seatbelt law, people moaned and groaned. Well, what do I, why do I have to wear a seatbelt? And now people just do it. Of course, they have. That's right. Change. So okay. Well, thanks for showing yeah. it to us. No we, problem. Uh, just like I said, we want to get people used to seeing this. This is part of the. This will be part of the uniform that you see every day, just like the badges and the patch. But we do have that issue out there on the roadways. Yes.